In the advent of new social media platforms springing out of nowhere every single day, their new apps, their improvements, their developments made, making new friends and connecting to new people has become way easier and we now have more virtual friends than, well some of us have more virtual friends than actual real life friends. The world is now a global village. I know, that's no longer news actually. Anyways, so if you want to connect to someone across halfway across the world, well this is the video for you to watch. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of BK Says. I am BK and you're welcome. So I'm here to tell you how to send a direct message that will guarantee you a quick response for whatever purpose, be it personal, be it career-wise, be it um, just a complimentary kind of DM or whatever, whatever you want to know. Stick to the end of this video and you will learn a thing to or even more than you need to know. I've divided them into three stages, pre-DM um, preparations, DM and post-DM preparations. So for pre-DM preparations, uh, you have to know why are you sending this message? Because you can't just up and just DM somebody, hello, because Max Zuckerberg puts the wave at your new friend feature or because it's just, well, it's just a cool thing to just say hello, hello what? Hello, where's the conversation supposed to go from there? So do not, do not say hello, especially if he's a new friend, do not say hello and leave it at that because one, you're never going to get feedback. Well, you have to determine why you're sending messages. Is it for business purposes? Is it for, is it for personal purposes, is it for romantic purposes, or is it generally uh, for just friendship? You have to be able to differentiate this. First, I wouldn't advise that you send a direct message, DM a potential client whatsoever, except if it's, um, it's acceptable in the niche you're currently working in. Say, for instance, I'm a content creator and I'm a spoken word artist, photographer and uh, videographer and, well, a couple of other things I do. So sometimes I see I see other photographers that would love to use their maybe pictures for my art, but of course, giving full credit and would need their permission to do that. So I may not have access to their emails. Sometimes you check, 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 you won't be able to get the emails. So I would send a DM. That type of DM now will go, hello, I am Blessing Curie and I need, um, I've gone through your works and I'm impressed and blah, 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 blah. And I need to use this, this, this particular art that you posted on this, 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 they make a reference so the person knows straight up in one text, hope to hear from you soon or Instagram is serious business. I know this sounds like a formal letter, but social media is very serious business and I don't get why people just chill and just do anyhow. Like it can either make or marry you in the long run. So when you send that, instantly when I'm opening this message, I know, oh, hello, oh, this is blessing. This is what she wants. Am I offering her what she wants? Am I not offering her what she wants? If I am offering her what she wants, then I go ahead and respond accordingly. And if I'm not, it's going to just be, oh, sorry, whatever, whatever, whatever. And that's the end of it. As opposed to me saying hello and expecting them to say hi, then we go to how are you doing? And um, before you DM somebody, you have to do a background check. Notice how I said, for instance, I'm messaging to get content for something. I said you have to, um, you would make reference to previous work, which means do your background check. It is important. How more can I stress? Maybe I should put echo. It is important for you to know who you're messaging. You can't just up and message somebody and be like, oh, tell me what you do. Say, for instance, you're offering friendship or you just want to, like, you vibe with their work or their content or how beautiful they are, how handsome they are. You can't just up and say, hi. Hi, what? Tell me what you do. If what I do is all over my social media page, I think if you're DMing me, you should know what I'm about. Whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, you should know what I'm about. Go straight to the point. People are busy. We don't have time. And before, until you become besties, you can't just keep messaging people. Hello. I've met good people on social media and that's why I feel um, qualified to drop this video because I've met people via DMs, via Messenger, Facebook Messenger, Twitter DMs, and other social media platforms, Snapchat as well. And it has, they have become my real life friends, like virtual friends converted into real life friendship. And you will be able to convert some of yours if you're able to follow those steps. So I said pre-DM plans, first of all, know why you're messaging them. And second of all, you have to know um, a little, a little, basic things about this person just to make sure you know where to draw the line. Say for instance, you're a new follower. This is a tip that people probably don't really talk about because I've watched a couple of videos on how to DM and I've done a bit of research before making this video. People don't tell you about your username. Mm. In 2019, your username is pretty, not pretty, pretty, sexy, hot, slay king, so What's happening? If you're, it's cool, it's cool, no judgment, but if you're looking to have serious business um, with people and I see if you're adding me and I'm seeing pretty, sexy, slaking, hot guy, little, cool, 
I'm not going to take it serious and chances of you DMing me and getting a response are probably very low Especially if you're DMing and just leaving that high and your profile picture plays an important role This is also under the pre DM plans check your profile picture social media is serious business as I have said you can't just be putting any picture because you feel it's nice this may seem vain, but show your picture, your intended profile picture to at least two to three of your friends to make sure they give a go ahead and to make sure your picture is acceptable. Because people, first impression, first impression really matters with social media. If I'm, I'm not accepting you, if your, your, your profile picture looks um, a, a bit creepy or disturbing or scary because we have to protect ourselves these days. So, so make sure your profile picture is top notch before you go on DMing people and also you can try engaging on the person's page if they have interactive content before you go on to DM them you can drop maybe a few comments on certain posts uh, not all at once so you don't come across as creepy just once once a little like here a little like there not from 36 weeks ago or pictures from one year for four weeks ago that was just that's just showing that you're stalking um you could drop like so when your name becomes a bit familiar in as much as some of us have a lot of following on social media by the way follow me on social media instagram facebook twitter blessing career like my page on the facebook follow me on instagram and subscribe to this channel so you in as much as all of us have um, a massive following yeah if your name is consistently among the liked or maybe tagged or comments people the, the particular person you're trying to follow starts to notice your presence which gives you a better response rate beautiful things can come from social media to be honest but you have to just be able to play your cards right it has been tested and proven whether it's a girl shooting a shot to a guy or a guy shooting a shot to a girl that you can um humor sarcasm always breaks the ice but maybe you should gauge your sarcasm to ensure the other person like, is on the same psychological sarcasm pattern as you are do you get what i'm saying like so you don't say something offensive last but not the least do not beg in the dm i know we're going through stuff i know we're going through um, a lot of things well begging in the dm may go well for someone but if you plan on maybe building a friendship or building a connection or building a partnership or building whatever from there you shouldn't come start off with hi two minutes into the conversation you're just like can you send me money for a time can you send me money from gas my rent is expiring just watch it because it already just crashes your credit it goes like <sighs> your true credibility just goes straight into the ground nose dies from there post dm preparation be open-minded about the outcome remember they are under no obligation to give in to your demands so if you would want me to do a video talking about how to shoot your shots in the DM, like surefire ways, whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, surefire ways to shoot your shots in the DM, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share, comment, tell somebody about it, tell a friend, tell a friend. And I hope your DM goes well, because DMing is not so difficult. Take a chill pill and just send that message today. You never know, you might just have a friend, business partner, hit that deal, seal that deal, get the bay, get the boo, secure the bag, through just one DM. Bye.